Okay, hello everyone. I'm um, about four minutes early, but I thought I would just jump on and start and give people time to jump on and find me live. Um, and while I do that, I will share to all my groups that I need to share my video to. How are you all today? My name is Donna Gray. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. If this is the first time watching me, um, I hope you will enjoy sitting back and crafting with me while I'm live this afternoon. Um, I'm bringing you a mixture today of... Um, Things from the annual catalogue and things from our new holiday catalogue. So my job as a Stamping Up demonstrator is to show you and um, show you all of our wonderful products and ideas of how to use our wonderful products. So I hope that I will inspire you this afternoon with my crafting and I hope um, I use a product that you were maybe thinking about. Hey Karen, how are you going? That you were maybe thinking about um, purchasing and by watching me craft with it this afternoon it may um, make you make your mind up whether you want to um, purchase the products. Now all of the products that I use in my crafting videos are all available through my online store. I always use um, um, current product so um, Anything that I use can be purchased as of today through my online store. So um, thanks everyone for jumping on. I can see there's a few of you jumping on. So I have a little bit of a story to tell you about um, um, <laughs> a funny thing that happened to me. As you know, I've earned the um, incentive trip to... Um, the Greek Isles, the Stamping Up Incentive Trip. And if you're new to Stamping Up and you don't understand what that means, as demonstrators, we can earn an incentive trip. And this year I've been lucky enough. Um, I've only been with Stamping Up for two years, but I've been lucky enough to um, earn the incentive trip. So what I've been doing is I've never been overseas before. So I've been getting everything organized and trying to get my passport sorted and things. Um, hey, Susan, you're in the doctor's waiting room. I hope you've got the volume down. I hope no one's listening to all my blab on there in the doctor's waiting room. Hey, Libby, thanks for joining. Um, so um, what I was doing was getting all of my paperwork and things done for my, um, for my passport. And I went to verify my driver's license, which I'm on a gold license. I've had a license for many, many years. And I tried to verify my driver's license and several times I tried to verify it. It wouldn't verify. And I'm thinking, why won't it verify? Like, this is strange. And when I've actually gone to, um, to purchase a, a mobile phone, the same thing has happened. And it is such a funny story when you hear what happened. You won't believe this. So um, I actually had to ring up the passport office and I said to them, look, I'm trying to fill in all my details online to get my passport. And for some reason, it's not allowing me to verify my license. And I said, there's nothing wrong with my license. It's a current license. Um, I've typed in all the details and everything, but for some reason, it won't verify my license. So, hello, Kerry from Washington. Thank you for joining. Um, hey, Lyndall. Hey, Chrissy. Thanks, everyone, for jumping on. Susan, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. How are you going? Hey, Michelle. Um, Michelle's uh, while she's clean. She's watching while she's cleaning her craft room. Well done, Michelle. So, hey, Tiffany. Thanks for jumping on. Um, hey, Crystal. Okay. So, believe it or not. I rang up the passport office and they said, um, that's okay, but you know, you're going to the post office and you're going to have to verify it then, but it still wasn't verifying. So I rang up the motor registry this morning and I said to them, can you tell me, um, hey, Tiffany, thanks for jumping on and saying hello. Can you tell me why my license will not verify through a computerized system? And, um, anyway, so she said, oh, hang on. I just need to talk to my superiors. And she came back and she said, have you had a name change since you've had a driver's license? And I said, yes, I've had a name change. I got married. And she said, and how long ago was that? I said, 21 years ago I was married and I changed my name when I married and I took in my marriage certificate to the motor registry to change my name on my license. And believe it or not, back 
21 years ago, instead of them changing your name correctly and putting that your new name is your married name, they put my married name as my preferred name. So every time it tried to search for me as Donna Lee Gray, every time it tried to search for me, it was searching for Donna Lee Gray, but by rights, my name on my license, even though it's not printed on my license, is Donna Lee Ma, my maiden name. So I went, well, I haven't used my maiden name for 21 years, for God's sake. So I had to go down to the motor registry and I had to go into them and say, can you please change that from Gray being my preferred name to my proper name, please? And I took my marriage license. I took my um, my um, birth certificate. And anyway, on the flick of a switch, all of a sudden it's done. But, you know, this has been going on for a couple of years. Every time I go to do anything, my license wouldn't verify, but nobody could tell me why. So what a funny story. Things you find out when you're trying to get things sorted. And I can guarantee it's just one little hurdle that I, I had in trying to get my passport. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will go smooth when I go to lodge all my papers for my passport this afternoon. So it's actually making the trip feel a little bit real. So um, what have you all been up to? Have you been having a fun time crafting? Um, I actually had the weekend off. Believe it or not, I did not do one single scrap of crafting all weekend. I actually watched crafting videos all weekend, but I did not do any crafting. So I had a little bit of a holiday. So yes, it is unbelievable. Typical of the RTA, I know. It is absolutely crazy, Karen and Matthew. I could not believe it. So the whole time I've been going around flashing this license saying my name is Donna Lee Gray and really in their records, I was actually Donna Lee Ma. So that's why it wouldn't, it couldn't verify because it was searching for the wrong name. So um, anyway, it's all sorted now. So hopefully this afternoon I will be getting um, my passport papers all lodged and it's getting a little bit exciting. So, um, and I even started checking out how to get, to, how to fly to Rome and where. I have no idea. Like, I think I'm going to have to stop over and have a layover somewhere because it's like 20 something hours to get from um, Australia to Rome. So, um, I don't actually know where you're supposed to stop over, but I sort of decided that I would have, hey, Helen, how are you going? I thought I would have a little bit of a, a squiz at um, things and things to do in Rome because I don't know whether I'm going to stay there for a couple of days, maybe before um, the um, ship goes. Hey, Belinda, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Hey, June, thanks for joining. We're about to you watching from June. I think you're new to watching me. We're about to you watching from. Just type in the comments. Um, yeah, it's really exciting, Karen. It is great. Um, Singapore is a good place to stop. Okay, well, I don't know, but I'm sure I will find out. But Stamping Up actually give us a travel agent that um, liaisons with us so that we can do all our bookings and things. But that won't happen until later on. We don't register for the trip until about November, I think it is. So, um, but anyway... It will be fun. So let's get to crafting. So I've got a cup of coffee here, so I'm going to actually probably every now and then have a sip of the coffee. So I'm going to flip you forward now so that you can see what we're going to be up to. Come on, flip. What is going on here? Flip. Okay, we are flipped. I just didn't have anything in the screen. Okay, so... I'm actually going to use um, something fun today. Now I've got my laptop over here so I can see. You're from King Island in Tasmania. Well, welcome, June. Thanks for watching. Hey, Cheryl, how are you going? Um, sorry, I'm just going to see what Cheryl was saying to me there. Yeah, I know, Cheryl. It's just, it's frustrating, isn't it? Um, you go via Dubai or Singapore. Okay, thanks, Lyndall, for telling me that. Um, and see, I've never been overseas before, so I have no idea. So, um, um, yes, it will be an interesting thing for me to do. So, um, I'm sure I'll find out the details. Sorry, just having some of my coffee there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is something fun today. I wanted to play around with, um, I've already, I, I did a video on this, um, are you from Brisbane, Gaynor? Are you going Brisbane? Are you going to Onstage? Gaynor, are you a de Stamping Up demonstrator and are you going to Onstage in Brisbane? Because I will be there. Um, okay, 
So this is out of our annual catalogue and it is called Big Wishes. And I only just got this the other day because I've been holding off, but um, I decided that I definitely wanted to get it because I think it's a fantastic um, stamp set just for one big bold sentiment to um, to give you a um, an awesome sentiment for the front of your card. So this is our, um, what they called, uninked, spectrum pad now you can have so much fun with these spectrum pads um oh well 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 done gainer okay so gainer if you see me please please um jump on uh, like come up to me and say hello and introduce yourself i mean people know me from doing my live videos but i don't know them because i just see names on the screen but please introduce yourself i'd be happy to have a chat with you hey kylie thanks for jumping on and joining i hope you enjoy this bit of crafting okay so the uninked spectrum pad comes uninked but this one i've actually inked up and I've used a few different colours in this one. And you'll see when I go to ink these um, these stamps up, how awesome this... Um, hey Jenny, how are you going? How awesome these spectrum pads can be. So they actually come apart. So you have them that you can... And you just use your little tiny um, re-inkers. If I can grab one here and show you. Our um, re-inkers. Hey Sherry, how are you going? Just our re-inkers for our um, normal ink pads. And you just, they're a nice felt firm pad. So you just re-ink with the colours that you want. So you pick some really nice um, colours. Oh, June, you're off to Melbourne. Yeah. I was I was tossing up, should I go to Melbourne? Should I go to Brisbane? But Brisbane's only two hours away from me. So, um, yes, I can, Je Jenny. I can see your comments. You're at the hospital with Mike. Oh, I hope everything's okay, Jenny. Fingers crossed that he's okay. Okay, so what I decided to do was I've, I've taken two of these stamps. I've got the Enjoy Today and I've got Big uh, Wish Big. So I thought they were two great um, sentiments to use. So I'm going to make some really, really quick cards just using these sentiments with this ink pad. Now, the way these ink pads work is they are designed that when you're inking them, that they are all separate. And when you've finished inking them, you can actually slide that and it will turn into an ink pad all in one, um, one go. Uh, so um, I decided that I would do some fun stuff with some of these um, stamps. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up. Now, you don't want to mix your inks too much. So what I'm actually going to do is with this um, Wish Big, I'm actually going to start to ink it so you can see that the stamp will fit in the length that I have here the length of the stamp is going to fit so what I'm actually going to do to ink it up I'm just going to take it across moving it a little bit but just taking it across to re-ink okay and that's all we need to do so now you're going to see the magic begin so I'm just going to stamp down on this bit of cardstock Oh no, Jenny, that's no good. I hope I hope everything's okay. Um, okay, so now you're going to see the magic. Are you ready for this, everyone? Look at that. How fantastic is that? So we have, um, I think it's Daffodil Delight down here. We have our Balmy Blue. We have Rich Razzleberry. We have Bermuda Bay. And we have... Um, our um, lemon lime twist so that's the coloring that I have there so that's um, one I will do the other one in a little while so I'm just gonna now with this I'm gonna pull them apart again just to store it okay so always make sure that you pull them apart and I'll just pop the lid back on so now I'm gonna make just a really really quick card using this one here okay so I think what I'm going to do, I've got Balmy Blue. See, I've got Balmy Blue in, um, in that. Hey, Tanya, how are you going? Thanks for joining. So I've got a Balmy Blue base. And I think what I'll do is grab some uh, Rich Razzleberry, I think, has a um, layer for behind it to add a little bit of oomph and a bit of colour. I'm just going to grab some Rich Razzleberry. Okay, is that Rich Razzleberry? It looks like Merry Merlot to me, but anyway, let me see. The 
is Mary Merlot. I've got... Anyway, Mary Merlot can be it. <laughs> um, sorry, I just need to check on these comments. Yeah, oh, Jenny, my heart goes out to you. I hope everything's okay. Um... Oh, really, Karen? That's, yeah, honestly, it's just, yeah, so scary, isn't it? Okay, so this white piece of cardstock is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter. So I'm actually going to do three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So that will give us just a little hint of colour in behind. So just like so. So as you can see, we've got a really nice, I'm just going to trim that end of my cardstock because it's really not real pretty. I have no idea why it was like that. But anyway, we've trimmed a little bit off. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that back over behind. Okay. So now all I've done is I've just put an eighth of an inch extra to give us a really nice border it will be different because i've just trimmed off the bottom but um, that's going to give us a really nice combination there so i'm just going to glue that onto it with my tombow you love it matthew thanks june yes it, it's, a, it's a nice color combo i i did it um when i re-inked the pad i did it so that i was doing a like a watercolor background so i wanted like a rainbow effect so i think the color combo but you can choose any color combo in these um spectrum pads to make your own combination so you could have a combination of all different purples if you like you could have a combination of all different greens you could have um lots and lots of different combinations so okay so I'm just going to pop that on here now. Now I need, I feel like I need a ribbon. It's got that. I feel like I need a ribbon. So um, I'm going to bring in the granny apple green. So I'm going to give it a few different colours here. Um, I know, I remember six weeks ago, Jenny, when he went in. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of ribbon on there. So I'm going to grab some Karen tape. And you know what, Jenny? You either laugh or you cry. So you need to keep your spirits up and you need to keep positive. He's having a rough time of it. Okay, so tear and tape on the back there for my ribbon to um, stick into. And believe it or not, I have no idea. My pokey tool keeps going missing all the time. I had it out a while ago. And now do you think I can find it? Bear with me for one minute. I'm just going to go and get my take your pick tool. And I'll turn my take your pick tool, which normally sits on my desk as well, but it was out on my dining room table, believe it or not, because we as crafters, we always have things everywhere. Hey, Angie, how are you going? <laughs> Another thing for you to buy, Michelle, is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, I don't know where my pokey tool's gone. It's crazy. I just, I had it here five seconds ago, but anyway... Gone missing in action, so I've turned my take your pick tool into a pokey tool anyway, so it's all good. Okay, so don't forget when you jump on, don't forget to share my video, because you never know who out of your friends might enjoy watching my crafting video. So please feel free to share it on your Facebook profile, and for everybody that shares on, my, on your Facebook profile and types shared into the comments, we'll go into the drawer to um, win free Stamping Up goodies that I draw every month. And now I've lost my scissors as well. I've lost everything. Where did they go? Um, there's my scissors. Look to the left, everybody. That's what everyone keeps saying to me. Look to the left. 
I did have a pair of scissors here, but they're my bad ones that don't cut anything. And it's my fault that they're like they are, because silly me, when I first got them, instead of ringing Stampin' Up and saying they're not cutting properly, and Stampin' Up would have definitely refunded them and, and sent me another pair. Um, maybe it's rolled onto the floor. Maybe it has. No, not on the floor. I've looked there. Um, hey, Doreen, how you going? Thanks for jumping on and joining. Um, thank you for sharing, Matthew. Okay, so for everybody that shares, my prize for this month's draw is going to be the watercolour pencils, the number two set. So if you weren't lucky enough to get your hands on these watercolour pencils when we had the limited edition, now it we don't know whether these are going to be in our catalogue, in a new catalogue coming. We have no idea. We haven't been told. So I actually ordered an extra set as a free giveaway for people that share my videos. So thanks for sharing, Chrissy. So if you share my video, you must type shared in the comments so that I know that you've shared because unless I'm friends with you, it doesn't show up that you've shared. So you need to type shared in the comments. Hey, Deborah, thanks for joining. So you need to type shared in the comments so that I know that you have shared. But that is what I'll be giving away is the watercolor pencils. Um, as my free gift at the end of this month. So for everybody that shares, every time you share, hey Kay, how are you going? So every time you share, you get an entry. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Thanks, Gaynor. Thank you very much. And sharing just helps me get my crafting out there to everybody. And I just love sitting and crafting and enjoying chatting with all you people and having a lovely afternoon crafting away. So, um, and who wouldn't want stamping up as a job? So if you're new and this is the first time you've watched me, but you love stamping up products, you really should think about joining my Wild Heart Crafters team because I've got a few of my Wild Heart Crafters on here at the moment watching. Our, my Wild Heart Crafters team is an awesome team of people and... We love crafting, we have challenges, we do lots and lots of things and we really enjoy each other's company. We have lots of conversation happening, we've got a private team page and the beauty of it is you get 20% discount on all of your products as soon as you join my Wild Heart Crafters team. So if you were interested, if you have anything that you want to order and you're going to order anywhere near $169, you can purchase the starter kit for $169 and you get $235 worth of product sent freight free for a low $169. So if you wanted to join my team, please feel free to message me. I would be happy to send you some information. Or if you wanted to go over to my um, website, which is stampingwithdonnag.com, you will find all the info over there about joining my team and all about my team under the... Um, the join now tab and just because you click the join now tab doesn't mean you're committed to joining my team it just means that you get onto the page that tells you all the info and then there's a link on that page that you can click on that will take you to joining up with my team no worries Wendy thanks for joining okay so I'm just going to pop that on there and I think we need a little bit of bling what do you think Still a little bit plain, so I think we need a little bit of bling. So we need our epoxy shapes, I think. I think the epoxy shapes will go really, really well with this. Okay, so I have these ones here, which are simply gorgeous. Now with my take your pick tool, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to open, I'm going to get the spatula end. And the spatula end is going to help me get these take your pick um, dots off and pop them on okay so that yeah nice green so see how easy it is to get these off with your take your pick tool it is fantastic it's the spatula end is great for getting down underneath and being able to um pick up those gets underneath that that um sticky adhesive back and I used to have a horrible time with these, trying to get them off and trying to get them onto my project. I can tell you it was so, so hard. But with this spatula, way easier. Well, 
need that one up there. Okay, so what do you think? How quick and easy was that super, super cute card using the Spectrum ink pad? So I'm actually going to do another one now. I'm actually going to do Enjoy Today. So we'll pop that aside. And we'll do another one. So I have a bit of an idea for the next one. I'm going to bring in a white piece of cardstock. I'm going to bring in my Spectrum ink pad again. Thanks for sharing, Helen. Okay, so I'm going to push them together once again. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to get the yellow this time. I'm going to go more up in the middle. So I'm going to ink across like I did again. And as I said, this isn't too bad because you're not sort of mixing your inks up too much with inking that up. Okay, so I've got that inked up. I'm then going to stamp that down towards the bottom of this cardstock because I'm going to cut it back. So stamp it down. And look at that. How beautiful is that? So we've got some of the balmy blue, some of the rich raspberry, and some of the Bermuda Bay. Okay, so there's a sentiment in here. Hope your day is truly amazing. Enjoy today. I'm going to stamp that sentiment as well. Oh, no, I'm going to do that later. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that apart again and pop the lid back on. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in my cutter because I'm going to cut that down. Okay, so I'm going to cut that down to get to one and a half, just I think. One and a half. Yes. Okay, so I've cut it down to one and a half inches. Okay, I'll leave that piece of cut there because I reckon I'm going to do something else with. Um, with that okay so I'm gonna grab a base now let's see what base color we have over here I think I'm gonna do Bermuda Bay as my base okay Okay, so I'm going to fold my Bermuda Bay base over. And I'm just going to make the base of this. I'm going to use my bone folder to crease that nicely. Okay. So I'm thinking I want to ink up something on the back of this. Now there's another stamp set. You need to find it. That is called um, Birthday Backgrounds. That's it there. Sorry, I've decided to play around here. Okay, so I just want to have just the little round circles. I'm going to pop that onto block. I'm going to get my Bermuda Bay ink out and I'm going to do it just Bermuda Bay on Bermuda Bay just to create a little bit of um, interest in the background. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper that I've been stamping on. Okay, because I want to stamp off. I just want to create a crazy bit of a background happening here just to take that blank look off. So it's a little bit like designing your own designer series paper. So randomly just stamping around, stamping off. When you stamp off, it makes your pattern come off your card, makes your card pop a little bit more. Okay, so I think that's great because I'm actually going to put a strip going across in the middle. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to clean that before I get messy. Okay. Now I'm 
going to take a little bit of rich razzleberry. And I'm going to pop some rich razzleberry in behind. Okay. So now I need to cut that. That was at one and a half, wasn't it? Yep, one and a half. So this one here is so, so not straight. So I'm going to straighten that up. Had a bit of a mishap with my big cutter. And I... um. I cut all these pieces of cardstock really, really crooked, which was really sad. So now I'm using them all as my spare scraps. But anyway, I will get better at it, I'm sure. Okay, so that. Pop that out of the way. Okay. So I need something with a bit of oomph underneath that. Um, sentiment. So, what can I use? Um, I actually think lemon lime twist again would be quite cute. I mean, sorry, the granny apple green. Yes, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some strips of double sided tape. Who has this stamp set? Who has the Big Wish stamp set? Who out there that's watching at the moment owns this stamp set? Type in the comments if you own this stamp set or if it's on your wish list. Type in the comments if it's on your wish list and maybe I'm convincing you that it needs to definitely be in your next order. Okay, so I'm just going to take the backing off my double-sided tape. When it wants to come off, come on. So as you've seen, I just turned that um, take your pick tool into a pokey tool. It was a spatula a while ago. Now it's a pokey tool. So you got to love this tool. So anybody that places an order through my online store during... This month, September 2018, you will get a free Take Your Pick tool if you order over $100. So if your order is going to go over $100, please don't order a Take Your Pick tool because I will send you one absolutely free for ordering through my online store as my gift to you. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do. So this is just adding a little bit of interest in behind my sentiment because I'm going to pop my sentiment up in the middle okay so I'm going to with some Tombow oh sorry my comments aren't scrolling I'm sorry everybody I've probably missed a heap of comments come on 38 new comments seriously oh I hate when my computer does that um still on your wish list and you're working on it you haven't really used it. You have it, but you haven't really used it, says um, Wendy. It's on the wish list. It's on your wish list now, Crystal. I'm so sorry. I am an enabler, aren't I? You like the Granny Apple Green Ribbon, Matthew? Yes, it's very nice. I was thinking gold thread, but I felt like it needed a bit more oomph than the gold thread. Um, yes, it was birthday backgrounds. Hey, Helga, thanks for joining. Sorry I didn't see you pop on there. Uh, you got it. Got to go. No worries. Thanks, June, for dropping in. Um, um, yeah, sorry, I'll get that. That was called Birthday Backgrounds, that stamp set. Fantastic stamp set, Wendy, for doing, um, just creating a little bit of interest in behind things. So I'm sorry if I missed other people's, um, other people's comments there. My computer every now and then just doesn't want to, um, Um, yeah, Cheryl, I have tried to use a spatula to lift the backing off, but I just like the pokey tool. I think I'm just used to um the pokey tool and doing it with that. You wouldn't have thought to put the colours together. Yeah. So it's amazing, I think, when you see, um, always be open to different suggestions for colour because everybody has a different colour palette in their mind. Um, and yeah, you would be amazed at what colours actually go together. Um, so I'm just going to pop that on now. Sorry, I'm probably out of 
camera shot there. Just going to pop that on with my liquid Tombow and as you can see I can move it around, I can get it to exactly where it needs to be. Okay, so I'm just going to cheat with this one. I'm going to put on our adhesive strips. Just easier than using um, our dimensionals because I can actually cut them to what length I need which is fantastic and they're way easier than um, putting a heap of dimensionals on. So as you can see they're strips, you can um, bend them, they can go around corners, they are a fantastic additive to your craft space. And I'm just going to, and, and they actually keep um, things a lot more rigid I feel because they're a little bit thicker than normal. I'm just going to grab another bit off the end here for the other end. So you can cut them to whatever length you need them. And these adhesive strips are great for doing shaker cards as well. Um, Michelle says she needs to get away from the purples a little bit more. Well, Michelle, I decided to go for blues and greens today. So, hey, Julie, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Pop on. Feel free to comment. Ask any questions if you have any questions. Okay, so I'm just going to take the backings off those now. And then I'm just going to pop this up and then I think I'm probably going to add a little bit more bling to them as well. You know me, I need a bit of bling. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in the middle like so. Okay. You need the strips as well, Crystal, yeah. You're hung on the purples too, Wendy. I know, that's because I show a lot of the purples. I'm sorry. Always have to have bling. Yes, I'm going to get back into our epoxy shapes. Your card's turned out green. Um, I've used Bermuda Bay at, as the background. Of my card. Her <laughs> bling is always needed, yes. Okay, so I'm going to turn it back around to my spatula tool to get these lovely epoxy shapes off. Okay, so I think I'm going to use some of the Granny Apple Green, I think, just to go on here. Do that, and that. And one of those, yeah, and I'm thinking one of these, yeah, and another one, Ooh, granny apple green, I think. Purple's your favorite color, says Crystal. Well, you all know that purple is definitely my favourite colour. I'm going to do the inside too, people. I don't want you to miss out. I'm going to do something on the inside because I love that other sentiment. So I'm actually going to do an inside layer. A piece of Whisper White here. And I want to stamp up this sentiment, but I'm going to do it in similar colours to what we've done on the outside. So that it brings the outside to the inside. Okay, so the sentiment says, hope your day is truly amazing. So I think that's a great sentiment to have. And I think I'm going to still use the um, Spectrum ink pad. Grab a block big enough to fit that on. Okay, so the Spectrum ink pad again. Push it together, oops, a daisy, and ink all over my fingers. Push it together. Okay. Now, what did we use? We used it in the rich razzleberry and 
the blues. It's only going to get rich razzleberry and the green. What about I do it this way? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This way. Okay. Ready for this? How awesome are these colours? Hey, Rails, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Oops, upside down, but there you go. Hope your day is truly amazing. And I'm going to go... Just like that. How's that? I love, love, love these Spectrum ink pads. I think they're fantastic. Okay, so I'll pop those aside. We'll gra grab some Tombow. <laughs> yes, indeed, says Matthew. Pop some Tombow on that layer. And pop that onto the inside. Hey, Sherry, thanks for joining. I'm just going to pop that down on the inside like that. And there you go. So two super, super cute, quick cards using our Spectrum ink pad and using our Big Wishes stamp set and our Birthday Background stamp set. So look at these two great, fantastic cards using these two sets. So great for birthdays. I think it is a definite must. I, I think the Big Wishes for your craft room and the spectrum ink pad you can choose your own colors your craft room is upside down they look fun tanya yes they are it's been a great time um playing around with them two new products to add to your wish list gainer i'm so sorry but anyway that's my job okay so i'm going to pop those cards aside so we know that we've got them Okay, I'm now going to jump on over to the holiday catalogue and use some products out of the holiday catalogue. I still have products that I'm still trying to use, but these ones, the beautiful Blizzard, I can tell you I have been so, so in love with this beautiful Blizzard. I've just had a quick play around with it and I love the framelet. And I've actually, ahead of time, you will see I have cut out the framelit here ahead of time. Now, I want to show you how you can make two cards out of this one framelit, okay? So, um, this has so many uses. The framelit, as you can see, I'm using the shimmer paper, the Dazzling Diamond shimmer paper, sorry, glimmer paper. Um, as you can see, there is so many um, snowflakes in this. So, what I decided to do, we have some awesome cards that you can buy. Now, these ones are silver. There is also gold. I'm going to get out my gold because I think I'm going to use my gold for this one instead of the silver. I want to show you different aspects. So, now these card packs come in a pack. As you can see, you get... Um, what does it say? Does it tell us how many? 40. But I don't think it's 40 cards. I think you'll find it's 20 cards in 20 envelopes. And they're gold lined. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Yes. Okay. So 20 envelopes and 20 card bases. So they come in silver and gold. So I'm going to use the gold today. I have done some examples that I have used the silver. So we will compare them both when we're finished and see what um, people think. But I will use the gold. So I'm going to need two of the gold. Okay. So I'll pop all the rest aside. So these envelopes and card bases are fantastic. So, um, and they're quite reasonably priced as well. So I think that's something handy to have in your craft room that you can um, make some quick cards. You love the gold lining, Matthew? I think your mother loves the gold as well. I think I know that from experience. 
Okay, so um, the card bases are already um, scored, ready to go. One hint, do not use your bone folder on the gold strip. Turn it over and burnish it on the other side so you don't mark your gold. So I'm just going to fold both of those. Okay. Now, in this stamp set, it has a lovely background stamp. So I'm going to grab that out and mount that up onto a block. Um, and there's also a smaller little background stamp, which we need that one. There's also this snowflakes, bunch of snowflakes is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's fantastic. So I'm going to pop them on. What else do I need? I need the sentiment which says snowflakes are unique in their own beautiful way. So I'm going to mount that up onto a block as well. I'm just getting myself all organized, ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do this in crumb cake. Hey Kaylee, is Kaylee on? I didn't see. Sorry. Oh, Kaylee has joined. Hey Kaylee, how are you going? New comments. Sorry, my comments are still not. Michelle, you need to send me your address. You were the lucky monthly winner of the Take Your Pick tool. So I need for you to personal message me your address so I can pop it in the mail for you. Um, I did send you a personal message the other day. Um... The snowflake sentiment reminds me of you, Matthew, does it? Okay, so I'm actually going to use crumb cake as my background. Now, I'm not real sure, actually. Mm, yeah, no, I'm going to use the blue like I did in the other one. Sorry, I'm trying to think because I'm changing up the... I, I did use balmy blue. In my other one and I'm going to use balmy blue again because I think it's just nice for the background okay so with this one I'm actually going to stamp off on my scrap piece of paper so this is a beautiful background stamp I'm going to stamp off once and then I'm going to stamp on okay so I'm getting a really nice light effect because all I want was a hint of color in the background so I'm going to stamp off again I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to stamp here again like that. I'm going to ink it up again and turn it around again and I'm going to stamp up in that top section. Okay, so just like that. So it gives it a bit of a wintry sort of look and a bit of a feel to it. Now, with the framelit, as I said, I have um, cut through with this framelit. Now, just want to give you a hint of what to do with this. I'm going to use my die brush and I'm also going to use, um, I've got my mat in a special, um, a special box so that it collects everything. The first thing I'm actually going to do, hey Kathy, thanks for jumping on and joining. Um, Subtle but beautiful. Exactly, Karen. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, as you can see, you can see that it's all cut through. So firstly, I want to peel up that background and try and leave all of the snowflakes in the framelit if I can. So um, now, trust me, you need to run this thinlet through quite a few times to make sure that it all cuts through really, really well. It's very intricate. Um, I, I didn't use the precision base plate for the simple fact that um, sometimes the precision base plate can, uh, where's my pokey tool, can um, tend to warp your dies. It can tend to, um, to bend them a little bit and I didn't want that to happen to this framelit. So I decided, I just used my magnetic plate and I decided just to carefully run it through and run it through and I actually did because I was cutting the glimmer paper I also cut the framelit 
upside down. So in other words, I put the cutting edge up and and got it to cut up into my top plate of my, of my big shot. If you can understand what I'm what I'm trying to say. So that one there doesn't want to stay in, but that's okay. All right. So it is a little bit tedious and I did um I ran it through beforehand, but I still wanted you to see the process of taking this off because um, the piece that we're left with, I then want to use it on a card as well. So that's why I wanted to show you the process of pulling this up. <laughs> really, Michelle? <laughs> Ah, uh, dear, we were watching Kylie Batucci the other day and she said that there's an, a word in another language saying an accidental purchase and it's called Maccabilly. And Michelle's just gone, I think my fingers just did a Maccabilly. Oh my God, I'll be broke. And you know what? It's so easy to want to buy these products because they are fantastic. They are beautiful, beautiful products to use. Okay, so we have... Uh, snowflake that wanted to stay in that but I'm going to get him out just because they're so intricate sometimes you've got tiny tiny little pieces that just want to get caught up okay so as you can see and I'm going to bring in I'll bring in a dark piece of cardstock so you can see this okay look at that now isn't that just simply gorgeous Hello, I'm not sure how to say your first name. Is it Quan, Quan, Quan Jackson? Um, thanks for joining. Hope you're enjoying. You can use the dye in so many ways. Correct. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the little snowflakes, but I'm also going to use that, um, that large section as well. So... Um, I'm going to close up that ink pad before I get anywhere. Okay, so with the other framelit, then I'm going to turn that down and I'm just going to run over it with my brush. You wait until you see these beautiful snowflakes all pop out. They are beautiful. And I know I live in Australia and I know we don't get snow here at Christmas, but oh my Lord, who doesn't love snowflakes? Look at these snowflakes. How gorgeous are they? Beautiful. And as you can see, you've got quite a few snowflakes. You've also got some nice little dots if you want to use these as embellishments on your card. Um, oh, your husband's come home. You have to feed him. No worries, June. <laughs> oh, you had to feed him, but you're back now. Well done. Okay, so beautiful beautiful snowflakes so from one cut we get all of these snowflakes plus this fantastic piece here so now I'm actually just going to I'm wondering whether I can do this in this cutter I did it on my guillotine before so I'm going to try and cut that down I'll pop that aside to start off with I'm going to try and cut this down as much as I can hopefully this will do it Carefully, yes. Okay, turn it this way. Um, no, I'm going to turn it that way. Okay, there. Yeah. Okay, so there we have a gorgeous, gorgeous piece to go on the front of our card. Okay, so I'm going to use the snowflakes first on this one. And I'm sorry, I'm going off some cards that I have here. I need to pop them here so I can see what I'm up to. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is just for a little bit of difference, I'm going to pop some Night of Navy. Actually, Yeah, I'm going to do Night of Navy. I was going to say, do I do it in Blackberry Bliss? I could have done... You know what? I'm going to start again. I can do exactly what I was going to do. I'm going to start again. 
I'm going to do crumb cake because I have a different colour combination. I've just thought of it and it's one of my favourite colour combinations. So I'm going to start again. So I do apologise. I'm going to use the crumb cake for the background. Okay, so I just need to clean that stamp first. Scrub that. Thank you for sharing, Kathy. You live in Colorado. Oh, you'll send me some snow. Thank you. How do I say your name? Is it Quinar? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Can you type it how you reckon you should say it? Because that's very interesting, your name. It would be really nice to know how to pronounce it properly. I, I hate making a mess of people's names. Everybody has such different names these days. Okay. All right, I'm going to use the crumb cake like I decided in the first place. So here comes the crumb cake. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to stamp it off. So I'm going to have a bit of a play around here and see. Do I want to stamp it off or do I want it full blown? I want to stamp it off. Okay. So I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it off. And I'm going to start again here. So I'm going to pop that there, ink it up, stamp it off. Yeah, I did the I did the other one in um the Sorry everybody. I would say someone just phoned me. When my phone rings and I'm on live, it stops the live broadcast. So I hope you're all still there. Please, please keep watching. Am I back? Can you see me? And am I back? <laughs> Yay, I'm back. I'm so sorry. Someone obviously just rang me. So I apologize. I hope they don't keep trying to ring. But when you're going live and you're on your phone, of course, when you um when someone rings you, it actually cuts out the broadcast for a typical for a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. You can see me now, thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to take the sentiment now and I'm going to ink it up with my Merry Merlot. And I think that's gorgeous. It doesn't matter that it's crooked because I'm actually going to get my one and three quarter inch punch. Uh, one and three quarter inch punch. Um, the colour, Megan, for the snowflakes is Merry Merlot. Now, my one and three quarter inch punch, as you will see, just fits this sentiment. Absolutely just fits. Okay. I'm going to mix up the colours here a little bit. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to get the Merry Merlot. Because I'm going to do a Merry Merlot layer with my two inch punch. I can find, there's my two inch punch. There's my Merry Merlot. So I'm going to do a two inch punch circle. And then I'm going to do my Starburst punch, which is there. In, yes. Some gold glimmer. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Now. I could have probably done my snowflakes in gold glimmer as well. But anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay. So. I'm going to pop up my sentiment on some dimensionals. Who's loving this card? It's so super, super cute, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to pop that up onto my Merry Merlot circle. Like so. I'm then going to grab some of my glue dots. 
And why am I using my glue dots? Who's the one that can tell me why I'm using my glue dots? Or the sentiment to go onto my shimmer paper? Come on, Matthew, type it in really, really quick. Are you going to be the winner? <laughs> okay, so I'm popping some glue dots on the back there. And I'm going to pop that onto my starburst shape there. Well done, Crystal. Well done, Wendy. Yes, because of the shimmer paper. Well done. Yes, sticks so, so much better when um, you have the shimmer paper happening. Okay, so we now, I'm going to close that up so I don't get it all over me. We now are going to add some of these beautiful snowflakes. I'm not gone again. No, I'm still here. Really, I'm still here. Says I'm still here, says I'm still live. <laughs> it didn't I, when I looked on my phone um when I looked on my phone I was still here so not sure what's going on and it's looking really really yuck as far as yes yeah, someone is trying to ring me so that's what's been happening and my wi is still on so it's all good can anyone tell me whether it's all good whether you can see me okay I'm just gonna Plod along. Hopefully I'm still going. Am I back again, Karen? Back again? Okay. It's looking pretty clear on my phone. Is it looking clear on everyone's um, everyone's computer? I'm going to re... I'm going to refresh. Okay, so I'm just going to pick out some of the snowflakes that I'm going to pop around on my card. And I think I'm also going to get some of the Merry Merlot ribbon. Clear on your phone? Clear here? Well done. Okay. Some of our Merry Merlot ribbon. And I also want a little teeny, teeny strip of gold glimmer paper. Three quarters of an inch. Sorry, I'm just cutting this gold glimmer paper off screen here. I want a piece of gold glimmer. And some of my Merry Mellow ribbon. Okay, so my gold glimmer paper I'm going to stick underneath here. Yes. Yes, 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 that's looking beautiful. So I'm going to stick that on with my Tombow. Just going to work out where I need that cut. That on there. We have a bit of gold glimmer paper across. And I want to use my Merry Mellow ribbon. Sorry, my comments haven't scrolled down again. Sorry, everyone. Can I hold the card up close to the camera when you're finished? Yep, yeah, no worries, Deborah. No problem. I can do that. Okay. So, okay, I want just a little piece of that. I don't want it to be at an angle. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on the back. I want a piece of double-sided tape on the back 
stick my ribbon. You love the shimmer? Ah, oh, love the, the gold shimmer to the ribbon. Yeah, I'm just going to stick the ribbon on the back here and then, um, then I'll stick the sentiment on. Okay. Oh, I thought that was someone ringing again, but it's the other. I've got another phone sitting here that's um, a spare phone, but it must be um, a messenger. Simply stunning, you think? Okay, that. Okay, so I just want my ribbon. actually I'm going to turn it over because there's Merry Merlot side on this ribbon and there's also copper so you're going to see one copper side and one Merry Merlot side okay so I want that to go like that okay I'm just going to trim that ribbon a bit more to tidy it up yeah I think that's looking quite cute okay clean up some of my mess here so I haven't got so much on my desk okay so I think that's coming together till gold and mellow look great together yeah they do look good together don't they Yeah, Deborah, it is so yummy. So, so yummy. Okay, so I'm actually going to pop some dimensionals on the back here, but I'm also going to pop some glue dots on top of the dimensionals for the simple fact that they could sit on that shimmer paper. And if they're going to sit on the shimmer, the, the glimmer paper, I actually want them to definitely glue. So this is a little trick that I do also. That I um, okay, so I'm just going to take the backings off my dimensionals. And then I'm going to grab some glue dots. And I'm going to pop some glue dots just on top of the dimensional so that if by chance it rests on that glimmer paper, it's actually going to glue okay. So um, just another trick um, just to do with the glimmer paper and getting it to stick properly. Okay, so that one is going to sit nicely just like that. Then I'm going to, with my glue dots, stick my snowflakes on. I think I'm just going to use the smaller ones, actually. What are you thinking, ladies and gentlemen? Sorry, Matthew, you are still probably watching. Okay. I'm also going to stamp on the inside of this card because I found a beautiful sentiment for the inside. Um, yes, it is a great... The Take Your Pick tool is definitely... A great addition I honestly would be lost without your tape the pick tool fantastic for doing any of your crafting jobs oh my coffee was cold but anyway um, there's another stamp set that I had this morning this one here the Merry Christmas to all I haven't done much with it but this stamp here may the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy I think is absolutely a stunning stamp and it's huge compared to what it looks like on the front it is 
way, way bigger. So I'm going to stamp that on the inside. Uh, need to clean that off. Actually, I'm going to stamp that on the inside so we have a bit of a... Where's my crumb cake? There. So we have a bit of a... You like the dimension I'm adding on the card? I can tell you, Deborah, if you watch me, everything I make is all about dimension. I love dimension on cards. I'm just going to do two of these. I need one there. Turn it around. I need another one just there. Okay. Now I'm going to get out my Merry Merlot. I'm going to clean that stamp off because I don't need that anymore but I do need the block so I'll clean that one off Matthew loves it too you're commenting for Matthew are you you're on one device again Matthew and Karen okay so I'm going to pop that down so I can I'm going to do this in Merry Merlot too many things on my desk here Okay, Merry Merlot. I'm just going to stamp that in there. Okay. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. I think that is a simply, simply stunning sentiment. So there you go. That finishes off the inside of the card. So that's one that we've used with our beautiful snowflakes um you could probably pop a little bit of bling let me see if i have let's see we could probably use these in the middle of that so a bit more bling you know me we have to have bling okay so i'm going to use my spatula tool again to get these off I'm going to use our beautiful gold faceted gems and I'm just going to pop that in the middle of those snowflakes. How cute is that? In the middle of the snowflake and I put that sentiment on a little bit crooked but never mind. Will that one be too big? No, I think it'll be okay. How's that? What do you think? Beautiful? Beautiful? Okay. Now, we have to do the next one. So the next one, what I want to do is... I want to use another gold base again. So I'm going to clean a bit of this up so I don't end up getting messy. So I want to use the gold base again. So I actually want to cut... This is a little bit big for that. Okay. So I want to cut a base that's going to go in there. I'm going to use my Merry Mellow. Seeing with, I'm going to stick with the Merry Mellow. Seeing we started with it. Okay. So I'm going to measure that. I'm going to knead it. Four inches. Will I do it four inches? Uh, three and three quarters, maybe. By five. Three and three quarters by five. Okay. Three and three quarters by five. Three and three quarters by five. Three and three quarters by five. Goes in there nicely. Okay. New comments. Why are my comments not scrolling? I have no idea. I miss all the new comments. It's 9pm 9 9, in Colorado. Well, thank you for watching me. Or Deborah's asking what time difference it is. 
looked at the clock, clock wrong, 110. Okay, well, it's, um, yes, it's one one twelve p.m. here on Monday afternoon here. Okay, so I'm then going to pop this on. Now, I'm going to pop that on. I don't quite like the edges because it hasn't gone exactly to the measurements. It would have been nice if it was just that tad smaller to fit onto this card, but I did work out a way of overcoming that. So I'm just going to pop some Tombow on the back of this. Perfect measuring, you think? I've got it down pat. I've been doing this for that long that I can I can normally line it up like that in the cutter and get it fairly fairly close. Okay, so all I'm doing is putting some daubs of glue on here. Now, on the big pieces in the middle, I'm putting some daubs on so that they stay down okay in the middle of the card and all around the edges. And as you'll see, I'm not putting a lot of Tombow on here. You don't need to use oodles of glue. Tombow is a very strong hold glue and you only need a small, small, minute amount to get it to do the job that you want it to do. So please be aware that you don't need lots and lots of glue. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, so I'm going to do that over the top of this piece of cardstock. And it's going to be bigger, but that's okay. Let's move that around. Get it to sit there. Okay. So get that to press down. Aaron's saying, I sure do. What do I sure do? Oh, I get the measurements right. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm thinking, what do I sure do? So once again, if you've only just joined, please feel free to share my video. If you're watching, share it on your Facebook timeline so that other people can get to enjoy my crafting. You never know who in your crafty friends might want to watch as well. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that one off. Okay, we've got a piece that's dropped out there, but that's okay. I can glue that back in. I'm going to trim this side off. A little bit crooked there. Come on, cut. Okay. So now you'll see this piece here has fallen out because obviously I didn't have a little bit of glue on that, but that's okay. Mine's the fourth video you've watched so far, Angie. Well, I wanted to jump on because I know Kylie's going to be on at 2 o'clock, so I need to be finished by 2 so everyone can watch Kylie at 2. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that back. In that spot, just like so. So there you would never know that that piece dropped out. And I need a little bit of Tombow under that piece there. Like that. Okay. So now we have that is going to be a perfect fit in there. Okay. But in saying that, I would like a little bit of an edging around it as well. So what I've decided to do is back this piece with a piece of our Merry Mello again. So now I'm going to measure what this piece measures. Oop, bit of a crash happening there. So it's three and three quarters by five. So I need this piece to be five and one eighth by three and seven eighths okay and that will back onto that which will give us a beautiful backing to go onto that 
Now look at that. Now wasn't that meant to be? Your craft room is not getting clean with all these videos. Forgot about Kylie's. There goes the day. Exactly. Exactly. And I can tell you after my video here, I'm going to sit down with a lovely cup of coffee and I'm going to enjoy Kylie's video as well. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that onto that layer with some Tombow. But as you can see, this is one die cut, ladies, and I still have, there's a heap of snowflakes still left. So you're going to get more than two cards. You will definitely get three cards out of this one die cut. So how perfect is that? I'm going to pop that up. I'm thinking I'm going to pop that up, and I might pop some Merry Merlot ribbon around it as well. So that's a good plan, I think. I'm going to take my Merry Merlot ribbon back. Okay, everybody, where did I put my Merry There it is. Underneath my computer, it was off to the left, everybody. Don't panic. I found it. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on with some tear and tape. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm probably out of camera shot there again. Let me try Cheryl's idea. Yes, the spatula works. There you go. Spatula works in picking that up as well. So I don't have to turn it around to the pokey tool. I can just use a spatula. So there you go. Something we've learnt today. Okay, my ribbon. And I want it Merry Merlot side this time. So I'm going to pop that on like that. Um, okay, who is Kylie? Kylie is Kylie Bertucci. Karen, um, her name is spelt B-E-R-T-U-C-C-I, Carly Batucci, and um, she's a stamping up demonstrator from Melbourne. Okay, I'm going to pop that up onto some dimensionals. She comes on at 2 p.m. every Monday afternoon. Yeah, I'm trying to get things out of my video here so it looks like it's tidy, but it's not looking real tidy at the moment. But anyway, it's all good. So I pop that up on dimensionals. Who is loving this snowflake set? Hey, Audrey, how are you going? Thanks for jumping on. Had people coming and going this afternoon. I've been on for about nearly an hour and a half. So I'm on to my last card. You may want to go back and watch the um, beginning. Okay, so I'm just going to layer that up onto that gold trim base. Like so. Okay, I'm going to tie a lovely bow. We want a lovely bow, and then I've got to work out the sentiment that I'm going to pop on here. I'm going to tie it Merry Merlot side, but it's going to be half Merry Merlot and half copper because when you tie a bow, it changes. So it'll be too hard. I could probably try and get it, but I'm going to have half copper, half Merry Merlot. That's okay. I'm okay with that. That's looking super, super cute. So I'll trim that. Super cute. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on with some glue dots. Over here. Okay. 
No worries, Deborah. I'm happy you've joined. It's so good to have some people from overseas watching. I love it when my videos get to overseas. Are you a demonstrator overseas, Deborah? If you're a demonstrator, how long have you been a demonstrator for? Okay, so I'm going to the sentiment. If snowflake, if a hug were a snowflake, I'd send you a blizzard. I think that sounds beautiful. Hey, Christina, how are you going? Whereabouts are you from, Christina? I'm seeing some new faces here today, which is great. I love it when I get new people watching my videos. Okay, that. Now I need a piece of white cardstock. Do I have any here? That bit there might do. Okay. Let's get that straight or I'll be stamping it awfully crooked. Okay, I'm going to bring in the Merry Molo. Five years. Well done. I've been with Stamping Up for two years. Two years as of July this year. July this year was my second year anniversary. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that there. I'm going to trim this bit down. If a hug were a snowflake, I'd say, oh, I don't like that one. I stamped it crooked. Need to get in here and get straight. Hopefully this is going to be straight. Oh, you've been about three years. Okay, that's better. Right. I've only just, I've been with Stamping Up for two years and I have just earned the incentive trip. Um, last month I earned the incentive trip for the first time. So it's exciting days for me. I've thoroughly enjoyed being with this company and I love it. I mean, crafting as a job, who wouldn't love crafting as a job? So, got that happening. I'm going to cut that down a little bit more. You're mostly a hobby demo. Yeah, I joined. First of all, I joined for the discount, and then I decided, I don't know, maybe about 10 months ago, I decided that I wanted to do it as a living. So, I've been crafting now. I, um, I've been doing stamping up just about nearly full time. I still work another job two days a week, hairdressing. But I've been with stamping up for um, for two years. And yeah, for the last 10 months, I've been doing stamping up for about five days per week and the other two days hairdressing. So um, yeah, it's a little bit exciting earning the incentive trip. Um, never in my wildest dreams did I think that was going to happen, but it did. I'm actually going to do gold foil here. I was going to do, oh no, I might do Merry Mellow and then gold foil. Okay. So that piece measures one and a quarter. So I'm going to do that at one and a half. Okay. And what's the width? It is nearly three. So we might do that there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yes, that's looking quite cute. Do you think I need gold behind it, everybody? What do you think? Do you think we need gold? You've been doing stamping up for three months and eight days, Angie. Yes, Angie is part of my team. Angie is one of my wild heart crafters. And so is Michelle, and so is Chrissy, and so is Wendy that's on here. It's the best adventure being a Stamping Up demo. You are so right, Michelle. So, so true. Okay, so do you think I need gold foil underneath that? What do you think, everyone? Piece of gold foil underneath, just to make that pop. Yes to the gold or no gold? Sherry's saying no gold. Yes to the gold, says Doreen. Yes. Two out of three, says yes. Any more? Two out of three, and me. Oh, sorry, Crystal, I forgot you were on. Yes, and Crystal's in my team as well. 
Um, yes to the gold. That's four out of three. You've done really well for only being in the company two years and only full time ten months. Yes, Deborah. But I can tell you, um, because it is something that I love, all I do go gold. All I do is share what I love doing. So I think I think in that respect, um, people enjoy seeing um, somebody have a good time crafting and I simply love crafting. So I love sharing what I do and um, the rest is just a benefit. So um, so yeah, I think I think to be able to craft for a living, who wouldn't want a job full time crafting? I love it. I actually feel like the two days that I work as a hairdresser, I feel like that's two days that I work. The other days, even though I'm working with my, my stamping up, and I do take it seriously, I, I, I work long hours with my stamping up. Hey, Diane, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Um, I work long hours with my stamping up, but I don't feel like I work. I feel like it is all just pleasure and joy. So, okay, so I'm going to do that. that and how long I only want an eighth of an inch extra so, yeah. we'll see what this looks like and we can have a vote what do you think let's have a vote that mm, I tend to feel like I like the gold foil no worries Diane all good People have jumped on, people have jumped off, people have joined again. It's all good. I think I want to go for the gold. The gold would be lovely, says Karen. Hey, Karen, how are you going? Yeah, I'm thinking the gold for sure. Okay, I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals because I think it needs a bit of a pop. You can always watch the replay, Diane, so it's all good. once again if this is the first time you've watched me feel free to subscribe to my page like my page and turn on the notifications so you get notified every time I go live I will be doing another live video tomorrow at 2 p.m. so tune in tomorrow at 2 p.m. again for some live crafting and I am going to mix it up a bit I'm going to do a bit of the annual catalog and a bit of the holiday catalog because um, I want to cater for people that are not only into all the holiday items, but are into um, our annual catalogue because Stamping Up just have some beautiful products. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And once again, because it's going on to the glimmer paper, I'm going to use my glue dots to glue that on. Whoops. That glue dot did not want to stick. You don't have this set, Audrey? You may be wanting it now that you see these. I am sorry if I make you buy some more stuff. But that is my job. Okay. And there you go. I think I'm going to do the inside as well. I think the inside, I simply love that sentiment that I did on the other one. So I think I'm going to do the inside with this as well. So I'm going to grab out my, um, I'm going to grab out my background again. I need another block. So I'm going to grab my crumb cake. No worries, um, I'm nearly finished anyway, Megan, you've just about seen it all. I'm just going to do a sentiment in the middle here and I will be done. Okay, stamp off, stamp on, stamp off, and stamp on like that. And then I'm going to show you, though, I have done some other color combinations in this, so I need to show you when I'm finished my other color combinations as well. Thank you all for watching today. It's been awesome. I've had lots and lots of people on today, so that's wonderful. And I've had some new people 
jump on and join and comment which is fantastic and i've got ink everywhere so i hope i don't get this everywhere stamp that down simply beautiful um sentiment and that is out of our merry christmas to all set so i think it's absolutely um a great sentiment that will go with lots and lots of your cards so it's great for the insides of your cards just wanted to clean that up before i get that everywhere on me okay i'll clean my ink pads up and i'll bring everything back in what we've made today so we've done quite a few cards one two three four cards today so that's been fun I have been busy and i have been on here for a while but that's the fun of it all okay so i'll bring those cards back in um actually do you know what i think this one needs a snowflake just to party it up a bit what do you think a snowflake up there yes blue dots fell on the floor so i'll have to grab them you're looking forward to seeing the other color combos too karen well, they were the silver combos so you'll get to see how different this set can look just by using the gold foil cards or the silver foil cards okay so that just like that and i think i want to put one of my little gold beautiful gold faceted gems i think i want to pop one of them four gorgeous cards you think okay so one of those middle of my snowflake okay so these are the four cards that I've done today so hang on I get all my mess out of the road here okay so we did the two birthday cards using the um, the big wishes stamp set and the birthday background stamp set and using the spectrum ink pad so don't forget the spectrum ink pad it is fantastic for making these color combinations and you can get some beautiful bright colored combinations with that okay and these were the other two that i did with our beautiful blizzard stamp set and these are my other two color combinations with the silver okay so that's using the gold edge cards and then that's using the silver edge cards. so what do you think sorry i'll bring them down a bit they're out of camera shot so there you go some really 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 lovely cards um using some of these beautiful sets as i said annual catalog and our holiday catalog so don't forget the annual catalog there's so many beautiful things and we've only had the annual catalog for a small amount of time so we need to really keep looking at that annual catalogue as well. And as I said, I'll just flip you back around now and have a bit of a chat. As I said, if you want to purchase any items during the month of September 2018 through my online store, please feel free to jump on the Shop Now tab um, or you can go over to my website, which is www.stampingwithdonnag.com. You can see everything I do over on my website. Um, that I do online card classes, I do club membership um, classes. So my club membership, everybody that's in my monthly stamps clubs, it's $45 per month, you get a stamp set, you get to keep the stamp set, I design six cards, and you get a, a card class packet to make the six cards in a video tutorial. So if you wanted to be part of my monthly stamps club, and you can be a demonstrator and be part of my monthly stamps club, that is okay if you want to um, be part of my stamps club because I have some demonstrators that like to get inspired by my videos and um, getting a bit of an idea of how to do something with your stamp set. So my monthly club is an awesome thing to be a part of. Over on my stamp uh, on my website, www.stampingwithdonnag.com, you'll find all the information about my stamps club. I run a blends club, I run an in-color club, and I do online card classes as well. 
As I said, if you wanted to join my team, I would love to have you as part of my Wild Heart Crafters team. My Wild Heart Crafters get any of my exclusive videos that I have in my monthly clubs and that I have in my online classes. They get all of those for free as being part of my team. They also get weekly team training. You can join wholly and solely just to get the discount. Now, the way that you get 20% discount is to purchase the starter kit for $169. So if you're going to place an order... For anywhere near $169, you really should think about joining my team because it is instant discount from the time that you join. You get 20% off all your orders while ever you stay current. There is no worries of people chasing you. There's no pressure to make you sell. You can join wholly and solely just to get the discount. And I would love to have you as part of my Wild Heart Crafters team. So thank you all today for watching and for commenting. It's been a fantastic afternoon. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Please feel free, as I said, if you haven't liked my business page, to like my business page, turn on the notification so you make sure you get notified every time I go live. Check out my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, you can just do a search on YouTube for Stamping with Donna G and you will find all of my videos. I have over 200 videos on my YouTube channel. So please feel free to jump on over there. There's lots of videos that I don't show on my Facebook page over there on my YouTube channel. So if you've enjoyed my crafting and you enjoy watching me make cards and design cards, please feel free to jump over there and check that out as well. So thank you everyone and until next time, bye for now.